Hi, it's 2VN Education. If you are new to our channel, click the subscribe button and you'll get to enjoy our educational videos for free. And hit the notification bell to get updated for new videos. For today, I'm going to show you the click and reveal effect of PowerPoint. You can use this in giving quizzes or in presenting topics. For this particular video, I made a sample which you can download at the end and it's about the states of matter. The link is in the description box. If you're interested, keep on watching! We are here on our PowerPoint and I'm going to show you how I did this, the click and reveal effect of PowerPoint. So let's go with the new slide. The first thing we're going to do is to insert a shape and that is a circle. Let's drag, click and drag and then make a perfect circle like that. And you can change the color if you want. Let's put shape outline and let's choose this color let's change the weight into three points and go to the shape effects and let's put some shadow after the shadow let's put the bevel effect and let's choose this one so it's just like a button now the next thing we're going to do is to insert again a shape and that is this one rectangle rounded corners let's click this let's repeat it let's click the rounded rectangle and click and drag it and make sure the size is the same as the circle just like that now you can see on the top of the rectangle the orange circle let's click this one and drag it inwards to create oval shape now let's make sure that the size of the shape is the same as the circle now let's adjust it like that now there you go next thing we're going to do is to click this shape and go to the format and send it to back there you go after that let's click on the rectangle rounded rectangle and let's pull it back like that. Now let's put the title or the text in the circle. Example number one. Let's make it to a bigger size. And then let's insert a text box here on the rectangle. This is where you're going to put the text. Insert, insert text depends upon the topic you're going to make. It's either a question or you have to present a topic or a description about something. There you go. And make sure that the text is aligned here on the left side of your rectangle. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to put the animation. Let's go to the animations and let's click the circle. Let's click the circle and go to the more motion paths and choose right. That should do it and make sure that make sure that this button, the red one, will go entirely to the end of the rectangle. that and make sure it's aligned to the rounded rectangle shape. We're done. Let's look at it. Yes, just like that. Now, let's put animation to the rounded rectangle by going to the animations and then wipe. But as you can see, the direction is upward. So let's change it. Go to the effect options and some left. Now let's click the animation pane on the top and then let's 
let's make sure that this is on the with previous. So the animation should start after the previous animation. And let's move it here. And let's see. Okay. Let's play it from the first animation. We have now the two animations. Now let's put animation on the text and let's also do it by clicking wipe and text effect options and then from left. And let's put it here. Start with previews and let's see. So let's move this the third animation here okay that should do it and now let's close this one and let's copy uh, click and drag click and drag the mouse and then you press control button and D to duplicate to make copies of the click and reveal effect now you can change the, the text into your desired text now. So like that. If you want to duplicate again, you can click and drag and then duplicate and make another set of make another set of click and drag effect. Just like this. And we're done. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.